this episode of Nick the Punk Fish Presents Photoshop Wormholes, I'm going to show you how to draw a yin yang symbol in Photoshop. It's really simple, it should only take us a few minutes, so let's get started. Here we go. Alright, so here's the yin yang symbol that we'll be creating. Um, we're going to start off, uh, make a new document. Uh, I typically like to work in 1920 by 1080. Uh, you can really work in whatever size that you want, but this seems to work out really well. Uh, 1920 by 1080, I'm leaving my resolution at 72 pixels per inch, as that's the size that would go on the web. If you're working on something that's going to go into print, you would want to make it uh, 240 or 300 pixels per inch. Uh, we're working the RGB color mode. Uh, we'll leave our background content as white uh, for now. Um, and just go ahead and create. We don't want artboard, so you can uncheck that if it happens to be checked. Um, certainly you can work around that if you accidentally left it checked, but that's fine for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new document. All right, uh, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna turn our rulers on. I have mine on right now. Um, but to turn them on, go to the view menu and click on rulers or command or control R. And we're doing this so we can drag guides out onto our screen. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is take your cursor and go up to the top ruler and click and drag and drag a ruler down until it feels like it like magnetically snaps to the middle. Um, and that's going to be your horizontal guide. And we're going to draw out a guide from the left hand side to so a click and drag on the ruler and drag it out until it feels like it snaps uh, to the center, which is right here. All right, uh, the first thing we're going to, the next step is we're going to take the elliptical marquee tool. So we're gonna click on the elliptical uh, rectangular marquee tool and we're gonna click on the elliptical marquee. Uh, I'm gonna position your cursor in the center of the screen, right at the, uh, where the two guides meet and you're going to hold down Alt or Option and you're going to click and drag out a circle. Now you're going to notice that it's not a circle, it's an oval right now. So if you hold Shift down, that will lock your proportion into a one by one and draw out a circle. Uh, once you're done, you can let go of the, uh, the keys on your keyboard and the mouse button or your trackpad button if you're working on a laptop. Next thing we're going to do is create a new layer. You can do that by going down to your layers panel. I'm going to drag mine out here just so you can see a little bit easier and click on the new layer icon. All right, so now you have layer one. And what we want to do with this shape is we want to fill it in with white. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is go on your keyboard, command or control and backspace will do that. Now, of course, we can't see that because we have our background layer turned on. So let's turn off the background layer and now you have your um, a, a white circle. The next thing that we want to do is we want to draw a uh, make this half, the left half of the circle, uh, black. Um, so while your marquee is still up on your screen, you're going to go to your layer mask tool, which is this one here. It looks like a white rectangle with a black dot in it. And we're going to add a layer mask to this layer. And what the layer mask is doing, anywhere that's white in here is revealing the contents on this layer, and anywhere that's black is hiding the contents on this layer. All right, so this is your layer mask, and this is the actual contents of the layer. So click on that so we can get onto the layer thumbnail, because we're going to be uh, adding some uh, color, uh, or I should say some tone, to this side of the circle. And starting at some arbitrary location on the upper left hand corner, you're going to click and drag and draw a rectangle that hits the vertical guide. And on here, you're going to hold Alt or Option down on your keyboard and hit the backspace key, and that will fill in the other side with black. Uh, and from here, you can deselect. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to draw uh, a smaller circle. Uh, that's going to function as the top part of the yin yang symbol and then eventually we'll use that for the bottom half. Um, to do that we want to uh, create a selection that's the same size as the circle that we just drew. Hold your command or control key down and click on the layer mask thumbnail and that will activate that 
selection. Now what we want to do is we want to make this selection half the height and width of the circle as it is now. So go to the select menu, click on transform selection, and then position your cursor in the bottom right hand corner and drag this up so it meets right in the center. Um, you don't have to hold shift down um, anymore to keep this in proportion as Photoshop uh, has changed it in the past couple years that it automatically uh, keeps things in proportion as you scale. If you hold your shift key down, it will scale it disproportionately. Now what we want to do is we want to commit our transformation. And we do that by hitting the check mark up here, and that commits the transformation. You can also hit the enter key, you can also select another tool, and that will commit the transformation. From here we want to create another new layer. All right, so I clicked on the new layer icon, the square with a plus sign in it, and we want to fill this in with white. So Commander Control and Backspace will do that. Using your Move tool, you can move this so it aligns with the uh, vertical uh, guide that you have drawn. And if you hold your Shift key down, it will ensure that it uh, doesn't move up and down. All right? And you also know that it locks into that guide. Uh, you'll see the cursor changes from black to white. Now what we want to do is we want to place a dot in the middle of here as well. So we're going to repeat what we just did by transforming the selection. So we're going to go to the Select menu and click on Transform Selection. And this time you're going to hold your Alt or Option key down. And we're going to scale this to the center. So holding Alt or Option uh, makes a transformation relative to the center of whatever your selection is. So when it feels like it's about, I don't know, about third of the way there, you can let go, commit the transformation. Again, you can hit enter. You can click on the check mark. You can click on another tool. I'm going to hit enter. And what I want to do with this is I want to fill this in with black. So alt or option and backspace will fill that in with black. And then I want to deselect this. So I go to the select menu and deselect keyboard shortcut, shortcut command or control D. All right. So this is functions great for the top part. Now we need to make the bottom part. So I'm going to make a copy of layer two, which is where I made the smaller circle with the dot in it. And I'm going to drag this down to the new layer icon. That's just a real great shortcut from duplicating your layer. So now I have layer two copy. And I'm going to drag this below the other circle. And you can see I'm holding my shift key down as well, um, just to keep that in line. And you're going to see right as it touches uh, that horizontal transformation. Now, this is the same thing. It's white with a black dot. What we want to do is we want to invert that. So we're going, to go, we're going to go to the Image menu, Adjustments, and click on Invert or Command or Control I, and that will invert your selection. All right. So now we have our yin-yang symbol. So now what we want to do is on our background layer, uh, we want to make the right half of this black and leave the left half of it white. Um, so what I'm going to do is take my rectangular uh, marquee tool, click on the, uh, I can start from either the corner and drag towards the vertical guide or start at the vertical guide and drag towards the corner. Either way is perfectly fine. And then I want to fill in my selection with black. So Alt or Option and Backspace will do that. Uh, I'm going to turn my guides off, View Menu, uh, and then hide guides show under the show menu. You want to uncheck guides, commander control semicolon. And now you have your yin yang symbol. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, take the punk fish.